Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. How's everyone doing? It's good to see everyone. PD Beats good. doing good, good, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing great. Nico, you know, one of those things, I mean, this show. <laughs> You're such an active audience member watching the show, trying to figure out what's happening and everything. Maybe maybe not when you're, like, working on the show because you're focused on everything. But when you rap, do you start thinking about the type of audience member for this and realizing that you're, like, on a show where, like, the audience member is a detective? Because I find that's the most interesting thing, too, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, look, even while we were shooting the show, because there are so many different worlds and this who done it, right, is, like, slammed at the top, uh, as an actor, the the constant discovery in working with actors throughout the season that you didn't work with at the beginning. Like you, I am, I was and continue uh, to discover in real time who these people are. And when you watch the show, right? Like uh, it all comes to life. Like I saw these actors on screen for the first time when I saw the show, some that I didn't even meet while we were shooting, you know? Yep. Absolutely. And put your phone away when you watch City on Fire, by the way. Like, you got, like you're going to miss things. <laughs> Phones down, okay? I'm serious. <laughs> um, Xavier, I wanted to ask you because, you know, Nico mentioned it a little bit with, you know, the who done it and everything. Like horror movies, this th- th- there's there's no reinventing the wheel here. They've been around forever, these who done it and everything. But there is such a big kind of surge of this content right now. So what's it like kind of being part of this of shows like City on Fire, knowing that there's a big appetite for it these days. Yeah, it's, you know, you just want to throw your hat into the ring. You want to add your voice and like something fresh, something different, even though it's like, it's it's part of this push, there's always something that can be done or altered or or new within it. It's, it's why we have Broadway still. It's the same shows, but you have these different faces and facets that bring such a different thing to it. And you just want to see what that is. You're like, okay, what is it that you're that you're saying with your show, um, with your with the people that you have in it, and how is this something that adds to the to the greatness of this genre, which is why it's being just so so done right now um, with like movies and TV shows. But it's like you know, it's it's there's so much space for it for everyone to just add something into it. So it's one of those things where you have these amazing stories with these amazing people. And it's how do these people How do these pieces fit together to create Mm -hmm. that incredible final picture at the end? Totally. And before we wrap up, and both of you did an incredible job, what about the same, but one of my favorite things about this show too was the facial expressions and reactions of these characters. Like a lot of your characters said not like, said everything without saying anything at all. You know what I mean? Like, which was really, really cool to see. So congrats to both of you on that. And uh, City on Fire, May 12th, from here on Apple TV Plus. Nico Xavier, so great chatting with you. Thank Thanks. you, Pete. Thank, Thank you, Pete. Thank you, man. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.